of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. What will happen after this life? It's a very important question because we can see death. Death is always there before our eyes. But what's behind this, we cannot see. So we need the one who created the system to tell us what's exactly after this step called death. Because when we plant some seeds, we can find out that most of them regain life after death. And these seeds may grow up to show us many kinds of life, like trees and, and nice things in this world. According to the revelation, according to the truth given in the Bible, there is another life. That's the first answer. There is another life. This life is not the complete story for human beings. And God created men to live forever. And because of their free will, they introduced death. So they put the obstacle. Now Christ came, the one who created us, to restore eternity. So this life is corrupted. It is not the perfect model of life we wish to live. But there is another promised life coming after this life, but it's very much related to God himself. So for those who knew God and who followed Christ as the only begotten Son of the Lord, and he redeemed them, he offered them eternity through him, so with the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we, you know, will catch the eternal life, the kingdom of heaven, according to his promise. And that's the life of all the saints in all the generations. And this coming life, if anyone living with Christ into Christ, if he dies today, he will go by his soul to the paradise of heaven because his body is in the tomb like other bodies but we are promised with the with the second coming of the Lord the end of life in this globe in this earth that with the second coming of the our Lord Jesus Christ you know everyone will rise up from death and we will enjoy eternity with the resurrected bodies so we will regain our life, not only the life of souls like in the paradise of heaven, but complete life with praised and glorified, enlightened bodies. So for these bodies, they will live forever. So the paradise of joy is the transit time from the day of death of any saint for today, any good Christian, for the wicked people, for those who refused to believe in the truth, who rejected this offer of life. They wanted this life with this corruption and they pushed the light of the truth away for their whole life. They will go after this life to the dark eternity, to the hell. They, they have no joy, no peace, no love, no hope. And after this time, they will regain also the bodies to suffer forever because they choose this way, the dark side. So simply we have the good side, the, the bad side, the light side and the dark side. And humans are freely, you know, choosing day by day where to go. And that's the good news of the Bible for anyone who chooses to be Christ followers. They are choosing the light. They are choosing good eternity. If they do not believe, they wanted this life, and they all know that they will die soon, but by their choices, they will capture darkness for themselves forever. So that's simply what will happen after this life. May God bless you all, amen.